Fine. We continue to innovate in DirectX to make Windows the best gaming platform out there for both casual and AAA games. Now, I want to show you something that we've been working on, um, that we're, we've been working on with, with NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. It's something called tiled resources. Now, the best way to explain this is actually with a demo. So what you're seeing right now is a model of the planet Mars. Now, this is actually pretty cool. It uses about three gigs of data, and this is actually a fairly accurate model. What this does, the data actually comes from the Mars Global Surveyor mission, sort of orbited, you know, satellite that orbited Mars for a couple of years and used a, la or a laser altimeter to build up a really, really detailed model of the topography of the planet. And that's the data we're using here. Now, the cool thing, if you wanted to build this out, this is just a model of the planet, and I want to be able to zoom in and look around at it. What you would do is you would load all of, all of this data into your graphics card and let the graphics card actually do the hard work of rendering the images. But the problem is it's three gigs of data, and I don't have that much memory on my graphics card. So what happens typically is what you would do is you'd sort of downsample the detail so that you can, have, you can use the memory on the graphics card. And what happens is as I zoom in, you'll see that, actually as I get closer here, you'll see that it gets a little bit fuzzy. Let's keep going in here just so you can see it. See, as I get closer, it's kind of fuzzy. There we go. So, now this is where tiled resources help. So tiled resources give you a programmable hardware page table for graphics memory. So what this is gonna do is it's basically dynamically swapping the parts of the, the, parts of the data I need to into my graphics card to render the scene that I'm actually looking at. So let's flip that on and you'll see the difference here. Look at that. Now look at the difference in detail here. And here the cool thing is, this is actually, we made this demo use, restricted it to only using 16 megs of memory on that graphics card. Now, it's pretty cool, but obviously the motivation for doing, this, for doing something like this is to actually let you make games with really unprecedented amounts of detail. So let's have a look at another demo here. Um, what you're going to see here, so this is a demo that's built by a company called Graphine. They're out of Belgium. They're a games middleware company. And it's running, this is running on an NVIDIA GTX 770 card. So this is a good graphics card. It's one that you can go buy today at the store. It's easily available. And here, tiled resources are being used to render these two gliders. There's another one here that, that's flying around this one, flying over this absolutely beautiful, detailed coastline. It's way more complex. This one uses about nine gigs of data. And you can see just how amazing this is. But watch what happens when I zoom in here. You're going to get a good sense of the level of detail. Let me just push the button here and zoom in. And if you look carefully, you can see individual rivets on this thing. You can see smudge marks on the skin. It's unbelievable the amount of detail that, this, that, that I have here, right? And so the best thing about this is this actually will run on, the tens of on tens of millions of DX11 cards that are out there today. And of course, that number grows every day. And you cannot dream of doing this on iOS or on Android. In fact, this is actually only possible on a Windows 8.1 machine or on a next generation gaming console like the Xbox One.